no character looks like me. Nobody. I am a plus size alternative model and cosplayer. I'm also a costume maker and designer, all self-taught. I couldn't find everything I wanted, so I had to start making it myself. And that's kind of what forced me to get into costume making. So a lot of comic book characters are made with spandex or they're really tight fitted outfits. I kept hearing that like spandex was one of the hardest materials to use. The patterns that were out there weren't cosplay related. They were all dance patterns. A lot of them don't run to the size that I am. So it was learning how to extend sizes. You did not see really many girls my size or larger. And I felt like it was because so many people either thought people were gonna judge them or were already being judged by others. So why would you place yourself in a position to have that done more? I know that a lot of women who follow me are women of color or they're plus size. They're beautiful women who happen to look like a comic book par character and people still don't like it. The characters that are drawn, I don't mind the way they're drawn and I don't think that's necessarily the problem. I think it's people who think that those are the only women who should exist that are the problem. Lately, they've really branched out in comic books and I feel like they've listened. And now they're coming out with characters in comics and anime and video games that look different. You have more women seeing these characters and going, oh, well, she looks like me. I can cosplay her now. And it's a big deal when it comes to both body type and race. I'm Hispanic and most characters are either white or Asian. So for you to tell somebody that they have to stay with their race and with their body type, I wouldn't be cosplaying anything. I haven't had an issue in person, but when it comes to the internet, it is a whole different issue. And it is a battle. And one that sometimes you feel like you'll never win. The ones that become my favorites, I guess, are the larger ones just because there's so much that goes into them. My Brainiac is one of them. I like creating original designs because if I'm gonna create an original design, it means that I know the character well enough that I'm taking different renditions of them and putting it into one. I am probably the cheapest cosplayer you'll ever be. The entire costume, except for the skirt, was made with materials already in my house. The skirt is fully made of vacuum tubes, which took nine hours to just glue. So when building the characters for different types of women, I just try to find out what they are comfortable with, what they like to emphasize about themselves. It's taking back the power and giving it to the women, which I think is super awesome when you have the choice of what you feel is sexy.